We're in the Museum of Modern Art, and we're looking at Edvard Munch's The Storm from 1893. And this is just an amazing representation of something both psychic and naturalist. Yeah, external and internal simultaneously. And the one thing that has really struck me about this painting is how dark it is compared it is. to the screen. Which is the same year. Yeah. There's such contrast. It's interesting to think about dark and light and internal and external. Mm -hmm. If you look at the house, the lights inside are really the only source right. of bright warmth. And I'm then drawn to the woman who's standing right in the front. So this is called the storm. They must be in the midst of a storm, which we can tell if we look around and see the tree bending and their hair flying behind them. So they're standing right near on a the, harbor. Right, or on the water's edge. The painting was made in a small Norwegian seaside resort that Munch frequented in the summer. So all of these women gathered together in this mob scene, mm -hmm. but they all sort of look really frantic, just worried about their fishermen husbands out at sea, and they're not sure if the men are going to come back because of the storm. What do you make of the townscape? It's such an overwhelming presence. The women are human anchors in the picture, but there is something really animate about those houses. I mean, those windows look like eyes kind of staring back at us. The distance between those women and the house is somehow psychologically really far. The houses on the sides kind of blur into the background and it almost looks like a like twilight scene. You know scene. what it is? It's the, oh, Northern is Lights. It the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights. It looks in the upper left, there's that bit of green right. and it blends in in the corner, but it also calls your eye back to the center green of the trees. But I, I've seen pictures of the Northern Lights and those can be really green in right. the sky and they look really otherworldly. Yeah. So here it really looks like Monk is working on the emotion of the women. And proto-expressionists too. The expressionist painters of Die Brücke and Der Blaue Reiter both really look to Monk for guidance in terms of how brush strokes, how mark making become an index of mm -hmm. emotion. And you see that especially in the sky, you can actually feel kind of how his paintbrush sort of moved back and forth and back and forth. And you can see that also in the women, the gestural stroke that represents their hair mm -hmm. flying off. The woman in the center really does anchor that picture <clears throat> now that I look at it more. If you just put your hand up to the image and you take her form out, the composition becomes unmoored. She's a central figure in terms of the painted composition. Mm -hmm. Everything kind of swirls around that. And then psychologically, who knows how is she linked to these other women? All angst-ridden and worried and look similarly to monks the scream. They're bringing their arms up to their faces and gasping and really with expressions of fear and anxiety and the woman in the center has the most easily readable bodily features so that you can really see some sort of anxiety externalized. And in an abstract way too, you can see the gesture more in the white clad solitary woman whereas this clutch, their arms, their facial features are really indistinct. It almost becomes an abstract picture. Like if you just take out that piece, it's an abstract painting. The rocks are all kind of gathered up at the bottom of the painting on the right side, on the right corner. And then look behind the wall that bears down the lane. You can sort of see the woman in the middle with the blue dress. There's something that feels very kind of claustrophobic, but also very open at the same time in the way that the composition is mapped out. The monk is also really pulling you in to the space and he's using a very Renaissance yeah. technique of using the orthogonal to bring us into that vanishing point. It's an amazing painting.